Welcome to Kempo University. My name is Al Babinick. I'm your instructor. Talking about the X block in obstructing the storm. So, if I'm standing here, somebody's trying to hit me with a club, it's coming down probably a little bit inward, downward diagonal towards my head. I want to make sure I step off to the corner as I'm doing this, and my hands come up, and I want to do an X block. Now, if I just do this, I only have the distance between these two pinky knuckles to block. That's not very much. So as we step up, we want to make sure we extend the arms out. So now I have between my pinky knuckles and then I catch the arm as it comes up. So overhead club coming at me, right probably. All right, so we're stepping up. We're gonna do our X block over our shoulder. So I want to make sure that my head is off this line. I want to make sure it's over here and that my hands are on that line. My right hand is on top, my left hand. The reason for that is so that I don't get trapped and that I can strike if I wanted to. So if you know the technique, in my school the uh, technique's in purple, all right? So if you know the technique, you're stepping off to the side, you're getting your X block in there, and then you're grabbing the hand, stepping, and doing the takedown. If my, hand, if my right hand is on top, if something went wrong, I can still grab and I can still hit with my left. I could hammer him, then come around, take the guy down, do something like that. So as long as my right hand's on top, I still have my left hand's free to do whatever it wants to do. If I was left hand on top and I grabbed him with my right hand, this hand would have to come around and then try to hit the person. Not the best idea. So if my left hand was on top, now I just can't get this, I can't get my left hand going. So if I grab him with my right hand, I'm stuck. I just can't do anything. I got in my own way. I believe we'll get a ticket for that. Okay, so don't get in your own way for that. So it's always right hand on top as you're doing your X block. And don't just go, ooh, there it is right there, and get in between the uh, pinky knuckles. Make sure you're starting, you're, you're doing your X block up like that. And that way you have from pinky knuckle to pinky knuckle, all the way up and then you close in on the arm that's left over. All right, so that is the first move on obstructing. Little bit of side note. If I move up like this, I grab his wrist. If I step in and I, if I break it here, he's flying that way. You have to make sure you're, you're set and prepared to pull into the knee. So I want to be hitting down, not over that way. So you should be snapping his arm so that his body reaction takes him into the knee, not over that way someplace. All right? Think about what you're doing, and then everything makes sense. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.